everybody! I'm Whisper, and today I want to talk to you about making buns in Vroid Studio. Now, in the beta version of Vroid Studio, making a bun was really complicated and a total pita. But in the 1.0 official release of Vroid Studio, making a bun is super easy. You can do it in five minutes or less. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how. Just watch. So the first thing that you'll want to do if you haven't done it yet is make sure that you have Vroid Studio downloaded and installed. I'm using version 1.4.1. You can either download it off Steam or you can download it from the Vroid website, which is linked below in the description. So once you have that installed, you can either start with a brand new character or you can add this bun to an existing character that you already have. I have this demo character that I've created, so she's who we're going to work with today. I am calling her Ashley. With Ashley loaded, we are going to go over to the hairstyle tab and get started in our five minutes or less bun. So first things first, hairstyles. And then because I like to keep things nice and organized, I'm going to create this in the extension, which is where the presets for the pigtails, ponytails, and other little buns are all kept. We however are going to make a custom one and we're going to click new. And that gives us our new item right here. And then we're going to click edit hairstyle. The first thing that you'll see is that there's a freehand group over here and we don't want a freehand group. So we're gonna right click it and delete it. What we want to actually add is a procedural hair guide. So select that and that's gonna generate this catastrophe. But the first rule is don't panic, don't panic. It looks bad now, it'll look better in just a moment. Select the procedural group one, and we're going to tidy up a couple things before we get moving into the bun shape. What we want to do is scroll down to guide parameters, and we're going to lower the fit to head, offset, and height all to none. If you turn the character, you will see that that gives us this kind of short, very straight cropped hairstyle. Then the next thing that we're going to do is use these new tools that didn't exist in the beta, aha, and shift the hair off so that we can start shaping it into the bun shape. So we've removed it from the head. We're going to turn it and click the mirror tool up here. And then with that selected, we're going to start shaping this into the bun. Don't worry about the size of the bun right now. We are going to handle that in another step. All we really care about at the moment is making sure that this is shaped like a bun. And remember, since this is 3D, you're going to want to do this on all sides of the hair. All right, not too complicated. A pretty basic bun shape here. We could potentially bring these in a little bit and make it a bit more round. You can fiddle with this as long as you like. We'll look at it from the top, pretty circular. Okay, good to go. The next thing is to rotate it so that it sits on the head in the position of a bun. Just a little bit there and go back to the move so that we put it kind of on the head. Now that bun is gigantic. It could be that she just has a ton of hair but I think it's probably better to resize this down to something a little bit doable. So by clicking this resize button, we can adjust all of the 3D shapes to take the bun down to a size that makes sense, which includes squishing it a bit. Now that we've done that, we'll move it close into the head again. And you can see we still have this semi bun shape. So clicking on the procedural hair groups again, scroll down on the right. You can even shrink some of these options, guide parameters to procedural parameters. That's the important part. So what we want to do is we want to have more hair pieces. So I'm going to add maybe 12 and we want to spread them out by increasing the interval until it goes all the way around the head. Now, having done that, you can see that there are gaps in the hair and that's a problem. So let's fix it. 
If we go back up to hair parameters, we can set the width of all of the hair at the exact same time and fill in the bun just like so, maybe even a little wider. But if you don't want to fill it in there and you want it to be filled in on just the bottom part, then you can use this curve here to draw out the size of how the hair is shaped to clean it up. And in fact, we're going to do it one more time by taking this all the way down to get rid of that pointy spot in the middle. And there we go, a bun in under five minutes, just like that. You can add little strands of hair if you want, but if you just need the basic bun, then that's your shape, any size. And you can copy it and turn it into pigtails too. Easy peasy. Just use the procedural hair care group and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful at all, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos on how to use Vroid Studio. Hopefully we'll see you next time.